Hi, I'm going to talk about the Free Rider app, which is an Android version of the FPV drone simulator, and you can get that from the Google Play Store. Or, uh, in my case, because I'm using the smart controller, the smart controller is limited to um, side loading APK files onto your system by USB. In, in this case I went to the browser did a search for apkpure.com downloaded the uh, install app and then did a, did a search for free rider free rider now is installed and here it is uh, when you first open this you'll get the touch screen option make sure that you've got the mode 2 uh, it's commonly used for uh, drone controls and when you open it up as you can see you'll get the touch screen virtual joysticks so if I just add a bit of throttle and a bit of forward motion as you can see it seems to be working fairly well uh, it's not very it's not perfect because uh, the physics is a bit off but you can do things like flip so if I just add a bit of height and then do a flip whoop, there you go it kind of works and you do get c camera modes as well as um, different camera angles I'll just uh, land here so you get the line of sight which is uh, if I just adjust yeah. makes it impossible at a certain distance to fly line aside but um, you do get it and then you've got the POV mode which is the on screen camera and it seems to be okay exit that and then you've got the joystick so if you're using the smart controller um, you need to calibrate the controller or what so it won't recognize it so as you can see tap on the calibrate and you'll get this uh, calibration page and you OK that and you use your first joystick just to adjust or to, to tell the app where the uh, controls are that's the your and the throttle and then the uh, left on the top and there it's done here you can adjust the uh, scale and trim so if I'm just going to adjust this uh, adjust the scale accordingly and then for the throttle um, the joystick is still in the center here and you want it to start from the bottom here for the throttle or it's all just uh, take off so I'm going to trim this down and then um, add in full stick as you can see it goes back to the center so I'm going to adjust the scale as you can see and it should go to full scale from the center and then OK that go back into the uh, map and as you can see it allows you to uh, whoop. rates a bit sensitive but yeah it seems to be working so you just get used to the uh, joysticks and this simulator will help you uh, adjust and get used to this it will also help you to uh, be accustomed to the actual moving horizon I mean when I first started I, I got pretty much seasick with this type of uh, flying because the horizon was moving all the time so 
I recommend you to fly short sessions if you're a beginner and just get used to flying this way without getting seasick or travel sick and then uh, learn to fly in between the uh, gates and that hopefully you learn to uh, do all that and then get used to uh, little trick shots like flips and stuff anyway this is the free rider app I encourage you to try it on your smart controller just to uh, learn FPV or if you're using iOS then by all means use the uh, uh, DJI version the virtual flight which uh, gives you several options several maps to to try and uh, it should be slightly better than this free rider but um if you've got no options on uh, on the android and uh, you want portability this uh this app will help you anyway thanks for watching uh please like and subscribe to uh, my channel and i'll see you again cheers Bye.